just allow it. That's the problem in the first place. We think that it's something we have to try and get into. As if flow is some special magical state that if you could only be a great person and really work hard on yourself, then maybe one day you'll deserve and earn to actually feel like you're in the state of flow. This is not true. You don't have to try to be in the flow. You don't have to try to reach a state of flow. You already are in flow. The only problem is that you're blocking yourself because you're resisting something. The real problem occurs when you have a certain expectation that you're trying to live up to or a certain way that you want things to be. And you're putting all these restraints and all these filters on it. You're trying to make yourself act and be in a certain way that simply isn't coming through you right now. And that's really what you have to do. You have to let it come through you. Flow is not something that you create through some magical process. It's not something that you get as a reward of doing a certain thing. Rather, flow is simply being here present, allowing what's coming through you to come through you, not trying to be someone you're not, not trying to pretend, not trying really, really hard or really giving your best because that's where all the problems come up. In fact, if you look at a professional athlete, the times where they play their best game is not when they're trying really, really hard, like they're really trying and squeezing the juice out of themselves. It's more when they let go when they allow, when they just become present and enjoy the sport that they love playing already. That's why they started in the first place, right? So when you allow that passion to come through you for whatever it is that you wanna be in the state of flow for, when you allow yourself actually to enjoy the process because you like doing it, you instantly hit flow. It's not something that you need to keep trying to get to. It's not something that you have to keep trying to achieve or accomplish. It's already in you and when you let go, you let it in. That's what happens. You let go of all of the resistance and all those barriers that you've put up for yourself in your life. And the flow will basically come in automatically because it's already there. It's already there. And really the key, if you want to know the mindset behind this and how to switch, you know, if I could even call it that, more so let go, is to go from a state where, you know, a lot of people live in level one consciousness, which is to me, as in everything in the world happens to me. I'm a victim of life. I don't know what's going on. I just hope for the best. I go through the world and a lot of bad things happen to me. I can't help it. I can't influence it. And the second stage of consciousness, level two, if you want to call it that, is by me, as in I create everything. I'm the master of my fate and fate and the captain of my soul or whatever they say, right? It's not about trying to push and create and be this amazing person that can do everything. Level three, the flow that everybody looks at as a magical unicorn is actually through me. As in, <laughs> I don't have to try. It's not something I have to really force myself to do. It's not about discipline anymore. When I'm sitting here talking to you, I didn't have to force myself to sit here. I wanted to, it just happened. <laughs> Even if I was trying to stay away from this, I think I'd still end up here. And everything that I'm sharing with you, it's not something that I sat down and wrote a script for. It's just coming through me naturally because I love doing it and I allow it. I just let it come. I don't try to squeeze it out of myself or really, really work hard so that one day maybe I can share some good content with people. I just let it come. And it's always been there. The flow is always there. But if you're still in the buy me mentality where you're trying to make things happen, you're that hardcore hustler or you're that person that's always on the grind, then of course it becomes very difficult because you think that everything has to happen with your hand and you have to make it all, you know, it's all up to you in that sense. Or if you're in level one consciousness where you think that you know, life is just an accident and everything happens to you and you have no control, then that's even worse. You know, flow happens on that stage three where you really, really allow it, where you really let things just happen as they should. Because look, nature is nature, you know? You are somebody that has a lot of talents and gifts, but the only reason you're not realizing your potential is because you're putting up these blocks. Now, I'm not here saying that if you just sit there and wish and hope and feel good and just sit there and wait for the flow, then all of a sudden inspiration will hit you 
and everything great will happen in your life, that's not true necessarily. But if you start taking action and you feel like there's a lot of resistance, whatever you're trying to accomplish, if you feel like you just can't break through, like that next level, it's just not happening for you. For some reason, you just can't seem to really go there and get there and experience that shift and breakthrough and you feel frustrated, then I understand because I've been there too. But the moment that you let go and you say, you know what, I'm just gonna show up, do what I'm supposed to do, and stop thinking, just let go, it'll start to happen for you. All of a sudden, magic begins. Because it's really that anxiety that's created by you in your mind when you're creating those expectations and then trying really hard and really you're stuck in your head thinking when the best of your performance can only come out through present energy, being here in the moment. You have to, you absolutely have to, you don't get a choice. It's not like an athlete, you know, sits there and, or practices and thinks, you know what? It's really like the presence, you know, I gotta really work on the presence. It's, it's not like you work on this thing, you just let it happen, let it happen. Let go of control, that's the bottom line. You're trying to restrain yourself or push yourself or make yourself into something that you're not and the moment that you just whew, breathe and just do what you're supposed to do, but let go of expectations, let go of the thoughts, let go of all that looping, state of mind where you keep thinking the same thing over and over again, that's what's destroying you. That's the only thing stopping you from reaching flow. And you just have to let go, let go, let go, let go, just let go right now. See what that feels like to let go of any expectations. Sometimes people watch videos and they sit there thinking what the person is gonna say next. I don't know if you might be doing that. If you're struggling to get into flow, there's a lot of things going on in your head where the expectations are being created, there's a loop, the expectations aren't met, maybe you're not living up to your own standard, you're not performing the way that you want, and before you know it, you're in this negative loop, this thought pattern that just keeps reoccurring and building itself stronger and stronger and stronger, and every day becomes a bigger struggle than the last. So you're in this negative spiral and it's never going to end until you stop expecting anything to happen and you let go and you allow it and you say, you know what, I'm okay with this because it begins with acceptance, saying that, hey, maybe I'm not on top of my stuff right now. Maybe I'm not really killing it the way that I want to be, but I could. And the way that I'll get there is by letting go, not by trying even harder, because I bet you, you're trying hard. If you're watching these videos, you're somebody that's into self-improvement. You want to live a better life. You want to be a better person. And that's fantastic, I applaud you. Congrats, you're on a great journey and a great path and you're gonna be a better person because of it and live a better life. You've done yourself a great service. However, if you stay in that place where you're constantly trying to improve, trying to improve, what you're saying is that you're not good enough. See, that self-improvement, that constant self-improvement is almost like an addiction. It's almost like a way of coping with that you're just not fulfilled as you are. But flow, flow comes from really saying that you already are good enough. You're already there. And now everything that you do is from inspiration, not desperation. See, the more that you're trying, the more that you're always looking for that breakthrough, the more that you're trying to force yourself to get somewhere and always looking for that next destination, the more you're acting out of desperation. And look, you attract what you are. You don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. And so if you're coming from desperation, if you're trying to do something and you're not getting the result that you want, try checking out that intention. What's the place that you're coming from? Is it desperation? Maybe you're trying to do something to get approval. I know that early on in my journey, I was always waiting for everybody to validate me and clap me all and tell me how good I was and how great everything that I do is and how is the video good and all this stuff. And the moment that I let go of that interesting thing happened, all of a sudden people start watching, all of a sudden people start flocking to me, all of a sudden a lot of people want to work with me and I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? And it's because I was just enjoying myself. I let go of all that stuff. The process will force you to let go of it because if you don't, you'll stay where you are. And so if you're feeling stagnant, that's why. You keep re-experiencing it because that's the lesson that you need to learn. Life will teach you over and over and over again with the same lesson until you finally get it, until you finally realize, wow, all this time, I was supposed to just let go. It wasn't about trying to 
somehow understand it on a logical level or rationalize it. It wasn't about performing better and forcing myself. It was about actually saying, hey, wait a second. I don't need any of that. It's all good. I'm okay. I'm doing this because I love it, right? And you can still pursue that result. Like if you want to be number one in your industry or your field or a sport, whatever it is that you're going after, if you really want to be one of the greats, you can still do that, but do it out of inspiration, not to prove your family wrong. I started with some of that mindset as well, and it's just destructive. The only person you're hurting or proving wrong is yourself. You're never going to make it to where you want to be with those old beliefs. Listen closely. If you keep thinking what you've always thought, you'll keep experiencing what you've always experienced and you will continue to do what you've always done. Shift out your thought pattern. Shift out the way that you perceive this. That's why I'm sharing this with you because the moment that that clicks in and you change the way that you view it, the moment that you change the way you see things around you, the things around you then actually begin to change for you. See, I know a lot of people that, you know, will look at the same problem as me and for some reason, they think that it's the end of the world or like, if that happened, it would be over. Meanwhile, what I see is a solution. I see another way around the problem. I see a way to evolve and grow and become better because of it, conquer it, go further in my life because of that opportunity. You see that? Some people see that plateau that stagnation as a problem that's stopping them, that's keeping them, as if the universe is conspiring against them to say, no, you don't get to keep going. That's it for you. Here's where you stay. And it's not true. You can go as far as you want if you allow it. Again, if you allow it, not somebody else. Nobody has power over you. You have full control and power over you. You decide how far you want to go in your life, you decide the results, but you have to shift out your old paradigm, replace it with a new one. You can't keep thinking that old pattern. You can't keep going that way. You're just going to stay stuck. And if you stay stuck, you become even more frustrated with yourself. So I'm asking you, please, please, if you want to experience some real flow, if you want to uplift your state, if you want to feel better about yourself, let go. Let go of your expectations. Stop thinking about how things are supposed to be or how it has to happen this way and just allow that flow to come through you. Just make room for it. You see, it's more about getting out of your own way than it is about hustling hard and trying to be the best. Get out of your own way. If you're an apple tree seed, then you'll grow up to be an apple tree. It's fine. It doesn't help to shout at the seed and tell you, oh, this seed isn't growing fast enough. I don't like the way this seed looks. I don't like, oh, the tree is so small. And meanwhile, looking and comparing it to another tree that's had 13, 20, 50 years to grow. That's not fair. Don't do that to yourself. Stop looking at everybody else around you. Stop frustrating yourself. Allow the flow to come through you. Allow it by letting go of expectations and realizing that you're actually already a great person where you are. You don't come from a low. You're not somebody that needs to prove something. Why? You're a human being just as valuable as every other human being. You're part of the one universe as we all are. And there's nothing that says that another person is better than you other than your belief, other than your perception. And if you change your perception, the reality changes for you. So allow, allow and say, hey, I'm already good enough. I'm going to act from inspiration, not desperation. And guess what? Because of that, you'll create way more results in your life. You'll feel much better about yourself. Everything that you do, everything that you touch will turn into gold. You'll have a much better experience and the people around you will notice a real difference in you and you will notice a real difference in you. I want you to invoke that presence in yourself. I want you to feel that flow coming through you. Swap out those old belief systems. Stop thinking that the world is evil and everything is happening to you. And even move on from that point where you think that you're the hustler that makes everything happen. Because I see a lot of entrepreneurs and you know self-help people that are into motivation and personal development get stuck there in level two. Go into through me. Go into I'm allowing it. I know where I want to go, but I don't have to try so hard. I don't have to force it. I don't have to squeeze myself, pinch myself and like hurt myself and damage myself to try and evolve. It's going to happen naturally. You're going to grow. 
and you know what? You'll enjoy it a lot more. And remember that when you get to the end, the reward is not gonna be the thing that makes you happy. It's this journey that you're on, this step-by-step -step that never really ends. And yeah, you might hit some milestones along the way, but this goes all the way to the graveyard. Life is risky business. You're not gonna get out of it alive. You might as well take the best shot, enjoy every step along the track, allow the flow to come through you, and that way you're gonna be a lot happier.